the notion that our reality might not be the base reality, but rather a sophisticated simulation, has puzzled philosophers, scientists and tech enthusiasts. This concept, known as the simulation hypothesis, that what we perceive as reality could be akin to a hyper-advanced computer program. Let's look at this intriguing idea and explore both its philosophical underpinnings and the modern discourse surrounding it. The idea isn't new. From Plato's cave to Descartes' evil demon, humanity has long questioned the nature of reality. For it's the advancements in technology, particularly in virtual reality and artificial intelligence, although that's a misnomer, that have brought this ancient question into the modern age. If we can create simulations that are increasingly indistinguishable from reality, what's stopping an advanced civilization from doing the same on a grander scale? Physicists and computer scientists have weighed in, often discussing the limits of computation and the nature of the universe. Some argue that it's possible for any civilization to reach a post-human stage where they can run highly detailed simulations of their ancestors or other beings then statistically, it's more likely we are in such a simulation than in the original reality. However, this hypothesis remains unfalsifiable. There's no definitive test to prove or disprove it. Recent discussions suggest a divide. Some see it as a fascinating philosophical exercise, while others critique it as unprovable or even pseudoscientific. On social media and blogs, the simulation theory resonates in various ways. Some posts reflect a daily feeling of living in a simulation, pointing towards how our digital lives often feel as real or more manipulative than our physical ones. Others humorously or seriously engage with the idea, suggesting that if we can choose our reality or refer to a save point, Perhaps we were already exercising options available in a simulated environment. If we were to accept that we're in a simulation, what then? Does it change how we live? Would it change how you live your life? The simulation hypothesis raises profound questions about free will, the nature of existence and ethics. For instance, if our world is simulated, are our choices our own? Or are they predetermined by the simulation's code? This leads to a broader contemplation on the value of life, ethics and technology. An interesting point raised, like the Russell simulation paradox, queries why, if we're in a simulation, we haven't created our own yet. This could imply we're in the base reality. Or perhaps our simulators have reasons to prevent or hide such capabilities from us. The simulation hypothesis while intriguing, remains in the realm of philosophical debate rather than scientific fact. Yet, pondering whether we live in a simulation encourages us to question the nature of reality, consciousness and our technological trajectory. This idea pushes us towards understanding our universe better, urging us to explore the limits of computation, the essence of consciousness. I invite you to ponder, if this is a simulation, what does that mean for you, and more curiously, what's beyond the simulation?